Hi there, Doc from BarCast Audio here today to talk with you about memorizing for the bar exam. One of the most hotly contested subjects, uh, something that it comes up all the time from students. Students are constantly worried about when should I start memorizing? When should I start putting it all together? Uh, and the answer is kind of complicated. So let's jump right into it. Uh, let's talk about it here. Before we get started, be sure to check us out at Bar. When should you start memorizing for the bar exam? This is one of my most common questions I get from students every single year. And the answer is kind of complicated. Really, it's a combination of things. You're going to be taking in so much information over the course of your bar exam course. Uh, when you first start, uh, you're going to be watching these lectures, you're going to be doing practice questions, you're going to be uh, maybe making flashcards, making outlines, reviewing flashcards, doing whatever you can, listening to audio outlines, whatever you are trying to do to sort of build up that knowledge base in your head, that's why you're going to spend the early parts of bar exam prep. But as you get deeper into prep, as you finish the MBE subjects, the lectures, and you finish the MEE subjects, and you hit this sort of no man's land where you start taking practice questions or practice exams from your bar exam course, uh, practice MBEs, you're going to start to feel like uh, maybe, or you're going to start to wonder when you should really be memorizing. When, when are you going to have time to memorize? Because you're trying to learn something new every couple days and uh, you're simultaneously trying to recall what you learned two weeks ago. It, it becomes very difficult. So what I recommend students do uh, as they progress through bar prep is very simply to maximize their time. Once you move past the uh, lectures, once you get into the area of sort of independent study, and basically every bar exam course accounts for this, what you should do is try to make the most of your what I'll call sort of high functioning time. Uh, some people work better in the mornings, some people work better in the afternoons. And when I say work better, maybe they just are a little bit more engaged. Uh, some people, by the time lunch is over, the second half of their day is kind of shot, so they cannot really do much in the second half of the day in terms of substantively committing a legal doctrine to memory. Maybe that's the part of the day that they should devote to doing practice questions. By contrast, there are people who really struggle in the mornings. They can't really lock in until after lunch or later in the day. If you're someone like that, what I recommend is that you use the start of the day for practice questions, something light, something that is really not going to take too much out of you mentally and emotionally. Whereas you leave the second half of the day when you're really at your highest functioning from a mental perspective uh, for committing things to memory and working on at least two subjects a day. At this point, you've already gone through the substantive lectures of uh, most of your subjects that's, that are going to be on the bar exam. So try as best you can in the afternoons or, or the mornings, whichever one works better for you, whichever one or whichever period of time is what you would consider your higher functioning time for memorization or, or for active learning, uh, to do something uh, to commit at least two subjects a day to memory. Now, Rome wasn't built in a day. Uh, and, and I don't expect you to have a complete vast knowledge of the bar exam uh, just doing two subjects a day. But what doing two subjects a day at the, the peak of your sort of active learning time will do is allow you to feel like you've actually done something to build up the areas of weakness uh, without completely overwhelming yourself. It can feel like you have to cram so much information in every single day, especially as we get closer to the exam. Uh, but just by really hyper-focusing on two subjects a day, and not only that, hyper-focusing on specific periods of the day where you're really engaged, you're going to feel each day like you've actually done something to commit this stuff to memory. And by avoiding trying to force a square peg into a round hole, uh, by making yourself, if you're not a morning person, spend the entire morning trying trying to memorize things uh, when it's just something you struggle with in the mornings, or if you're someone who's done after lunch and you're every day trying to just be like, I need to learn a little bit more, I have to memorize a little bit more, uh, it's just not going to work. You have to know yourself, you have to figure it out as you're sort of going through this process. And you shouldn't feel bad for having a certain proclivity. So let's say that you are someone who, who's not a morning person. You shouldn't feel bad for uh, not being able to necessarily commit things to memory in the morning. What you should do is say, I understand myself. I recognize this is maybe uh, an, an area that uh, I'm not well suited for. Uh, and you should adjust because not every bar exam prep program is going to be designed for every student. Students are different. Uh, students have different preferences. And, and you have to understand that about yourself as you progress through the bar exam process, as you start to memorize these materials. And if you do prioritize memorizing things, doing something active in the afternoons to uh, memorize or, or, or mornings to memorize something, uh, you're going to start to see incremental improvements and you're going to start to feel like, oh wow, all of a sudden I really have a good grasp of some of these subjects. Until later, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye now.